So to start with some general hints, I think the first one would be that a person needs to be proactive, particularly in this job market. Uh, companies are not going to come to you. You're going to have to be particularly uh, assertive, ambitious, uh, work hard at it. So be out there anticipating. If you're in a company that's announced layoffs, you know, be thinking about what your next opportunity is. Um, you know, really be thoughtful and be out there ahead of the game. Uh, think long term. Uh, even though the next year or so is projected to be relatively tough, uh, the long term job market, as I will show you in a few minutes, is extremely positive. So try not to get too downbeat because the long term uh, opportunities are going to be there. So be upbeat, don't defeat yourself, don't come across as negative, don't talk to your friends and be depressed, go out there and do something. Uh, in, business, uh, in business school, we use a term called SWOT analysis quite a lot. And I'd like to just explain very briefly what that is and why it's important for you to do. We do use the term a lot in case studies and analysis of business, but it applies to ourselves just as much. Uh, the SWOT analysis, the term stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths and weaknesses are things that are internal to us. So in doing this analysis, which I believe is really important, what are the things that we do really well? Are we a people person? Are we a numbers person? You know, what is it that we manage people well? What are the strengths that we have? What are the weaknesses that we have? Do we not like talking in public? Uh, do we not like working with figures? You know, what are the weaknesses that we have? Can we identify them and understand them and perhaps look to improve them? And then the second part, which is opportunities and threats, what opportunities do we have out there? What are the types of things that we'd like to do and what opportunities exist for us to do them? And what threats exist? So, so, so threats may be the economy, uh, the changes in a particular industry that one is working for. So I think it's very important to do this analysis of, of ourselves, to be as honest in a reflection of ourselves as possible. Uh, the next thing, and particularly in this uh, environment, is to be open-minded and flexible. Uh, it's important not to fixate on a particular job, but to be open-minded in terms of that SWOT analysis that hopefully we're doing. So we need to be particularly open-minded now. We need to be realistic. Uh, don't try to shoot for a job that's higher than uh, where you are now. Be realistic in terms of what the salaries are in this economy. Uh, don't let wishful thinking guide you. Network, network, network. Think of every person that you know, that you've ever known, every classmate, every uh, fellow employee, every friend, anyone you could think of. Look on Facebook, anywhere, uh, to try to identify people that might be helpful uh, in the job search. Be very careful with how you use Facebook and MySpace. Um, it is a wonderful asset if it's done in a professional manner. But there are a lot of companies now that go to Facebook and they see people at uh, beer parties and doing kind of silly, you know, college level things, and that turns them off. So really be professional with the way you use Facebook and MySpace. Do research on job opportunities. That's part of what we're here uh, tonight for, is to, is to just don't assume that something's going to fall into your lap. Do active, aggressive research on industries, companies, types of jobs. Have your resume and cover letter reviewed by other people. Don't assume that the, that the resume that you write is the, you know, the greatest resume of all time. Let other people look at it. Let professional people look at it. Consider how important the cover letter is. And in this environment, it is, you know, unconscionable to have a cover letter that says, Dear Sir or Madam, all right? We need to do our research. We need to personalize. We need to show our strengths as they apply to a particular company. So please keep that in mind. Prepare thoroughly for interviews. If you're going to be, research, uh, uh, if you're going to be interviewing with a company, do research on them. Know how they're doing. Know what kind of uh, products they sell, how big they are. Be prepared. Put in the appropriate time and effort. Getting a job is a job. Don't be lackadaisical. Uh, in this economy, don't say no to a reasonable job offer. If somebody was making $70,000 a year and they got laid off and they were given a job opportunity of $50,000 a year, in this environment, that might be pretty good. So be careful before you say no to an opportunity that you think may be beneath you. And if you're currently unemployed, it's a great time to go back to school or otherwise develop skills that would 
uh, minimize some of the weaknesses that a person may have. So go back and get computer skills, get, get marketing skills, get financial tools so that we can be better prepared uh, for the job market.